Hey, best friends. Okay, so um, this has been a highly requested video for quite a bit, you know, for a really long time. Um, usually I do shy away from these type of videos because I'm not one that ever addresses any situations or anything that has went on in my personal life. But due to the fact this, that this has went on like quite a bit like a long time ago and we're not gonna like give any like specific like workplace names or anything like that we're not giving the names we're not giving like the name of the like place it was at you know or anything like that i feel like it's fine so like don't be on here talking about like i'm gonna show them what you say you know they can't do shit about it but anyways um what this video is, is this has been requested for a really long time and everybody wants to know like the story of like what went on like at the restaurant I worked at for one day. Now I have no beef with these people you guys, it's completely fine, you know they're a very successful business, you know sometimes like you know it really depends on the people that you're dealing with you know people you know you go into like workplace and you start a job up there sometimes you don't always know what to expect or what their expectations may be you know and this is not me like talking shit about them at all it's just you know the way i think everything got taken um you know you know i think everything was like miss like i think everything was just simply miscommunication you know and that they were expecting too much you know sometimes things like that does happen and like you know it's a matter of how you handle situations and everybody wants to know what happened it's been requested i do not usually do like these type of videos anymore i don't like to do story times because i don't like to talk about people in that way but like you know i don't talk about people in my personal life and like i don't talk about things that went on in my personal life but like due to the fact that this has like been a quite a bit long time ago and it's not anybody you know it's it's it, like due to the fact this is a different story time you know this is a workplace story time and it's not any of the past jobs that i've ever worked you know this is just simply at a restaurant you know and it was only for one day so you know like i feel like it's fine you know i don't feel like anybody's gonna get offended by what i have to say you know I'm just simply, you know, saying what happened, you know, I'm not trying to like bash them, you know, I just think it was simply, you know, a lot of miscommunication, you know, they expected too much and like, and I'm not even going to say what type of restaurant it was, you know, if you, if you know me in my personal life and you know where it was, you know, just know like we don't want the name out there because we don't want them to look bad, you know, we are a pro and we want them to succeed, you know, it's just like, the way I'm going to handle this situation, the way I'm going to tell it is going to be in a real professional way. And I don't want anybody to stop going to the restaurant because there have been people in my life, you know, that were like, you know, I'm not going to eat there anymore because of what they did to her. And like, they're not even a good restaurant anyways. You know, we don't want that. Like, you know, my team does not want that for them. You know, it's just something that was requested. And this is just, you know, we're going to say what happened, you know. So let's get into the story time, get your coffee, get your snacks, and let's get into this video. Okay, so keep in mind this is completely fine because I only worked there for one day. You know, this wasn't like any of my other jobs, you know. It's not it's not like that. It was at a restaurant, so don't be thinking like I'm talking trash like about a recent job because it's not like that. It's not like that at all. It was at a restaurant completely out of any of the other jobs that I've ever worked, okay? And we don't talk about those things. So, um i was struggling to get a job you know for the longest time and i was real desperate but like this is the thing you know that should never go on in your life if you're desperate for a job please like play to your strengths you guys like don't go into a job that you're completely not prepared for and that was my fault because like i had no experience in this and you know it's also i'm not saying it's their fault because they hired me with no experience you know i just think they expected so much for someone that has like so little experience you know so like i you know for people like that you know definitely play to your strength you know i being desperate you know for a job you know I completely understand that, but please do something that you know for sure that you can do because you don't want to be in a situation like me, 
you know, and like that's something I'm currently struggling with. You know, I'm struggling to find a job, but you know, the reason why, like, people ask me, well, why isn't this job like on your resume? And I was like, you know, I don't feel like it's worth putting on my resume. And people tell me all the time, like, it's lying because, like, you don't want them to know, like, what happened. You know, it's not like that. You know, it's not like that at all. It's just like, I don't feel like it's worth putting on my resume because it was just for one day. You know, and they didn't even, like, give me a chance, you know, like, they, you know, they, they immediately was like, no, this is not the person, like, we want on our team, and that's perfectly understandable, you know, that's perfectly understandable, because, like, I was not what they, what they wanted, you know, which is perfectly fine, you know, they did give me the opportunity to come back, you know, once I got in a better place, you know, but I chose not to do that, because I realized it was not the job for me, so... I'm just simply stating, stating what happened. So anyways, I went to this interview, you know, I answered their questions, you know, I was very honest, you know, and they felt like, you know, they wanted to hire me, you know, at this restaurant. And I was very psyched about it, you know, but I was expecting something um, completely different. You know, when you go to a job and like, you they tell you you know you're gonna be a cashier and but that's the thing that's the thing when you're when you're working in certain fast food restaurants you know their terms are completely different than other jobs you know they may say cashier on there but keep in mind what they mean by cashier is that they mean you they mean that you're going to be working the cashier in the fast food place so like always pay pay attention to the job that you're applying for you know because know that like each job has their own terms and like when you go into it like you may not you you know take that into consideration you know because like whenever I applied for it like I was thinking that I would be up at the front you know as a cashier checking people out you know and I was in you know and that's on me because I should have known the fast food terms of what they meant by cashier you know so like that's my fault and also know like if you're one of those people that are like slow paced and I'm not calling you slow you know but just know if you're one of those people that like cannot work a fast page past fat fast paced job just know that um fast food may not be the best option for you because like and I know a lot of people as well that um I know a lot of people as well where they can't I've heard a lot of people talk about fast food jobs and you know I know it's not just me you know like I've heard a lot of people talk about fast food jobs and they're like, I can't work in fast food. And I'm like, I'm the same way. Like, but you have to learn, you know, you have to know that's something you can't do. And like, the, everybody has their own opinion. Like when finding a job, they're like, well, well, if you need money, you know, you got to take whatever job you can get. But also that's the, that's the number one mistake in society. And that's why people lose jobs, you know, is that they go to jobs. They're like, oh, I'm desperate. I need a job. I need to take whatever job I can get. And then they can't properly do the job. And then they end up in a rougher situation than they begin with you know so that's something else you have to take in consideration so you know I go to like this interview and they felt like I was qualified to do the job and I was not you know and that's on me and I was not you know and as I went you know and my, the thing was the schedule was perfect perfectly fine as well because it did not interfere like with my um anything else that I had going on in my personal life it did not like interfere with that you know so like I felt like you know this was the right job for me at the time but I had no idea what I was getting into you know and like I'm not giving any specific details like about the restaurant and if you do figure it out you know please keep it to yourself because obviously like my team does not want to expose this restaurant under any circumstances you know so I get there and it's my first day you know, and keep in mind, like, whenever I'm giving out these specific details, I'm not, like, talking trash about them. I'm not exposing them. You know, if I was trying to expose them, I would get on here, say names, say what restaurant it was, but I'm not like that, you know? So, like, I get on there, and it's my first day, and I noticed they were real nitpicky over small mistakes. That's the thing about working in fast food. They want no mistakes. Like, if you drop one literal dot of salsa on the table they will literally tell you you're the worst person in the world you know and they there's no room for mistakes you're making mess you're messy etc you know because that's how it is like you know in fast food there's no room for mistakes you know 
And like that, and then like if you're one of those people that's like real clumsy, you know, then fast food's not meant for you. So I noticed they were, the first thing was they were real nitpicky about those little simple mistakes, you know. They would like yell at me, you know, for the little things. You know, there's a string hanging out of your shoe. Like, that's a mistake. You know, you dropped one dot of sauce on the door. You're, you're the most messy person in the world. And, you know, you, you, you make mess like everything else. That's just how it is, you know, being in fast food, you know. So, like, here's the number two thing. And I know it's not just me. You know, other people struggle with this in fast food. But the way that they were, like, they were not understanding of this when you go in the fast food there's this thing you know when you're working the drive through or when you're taking people's orders you know you have to be able to find the exact food under a category and if you worked in fast food you know what I'm talking about you know you have to like go through the menu and find the food and figure out what it's under and it, re it requires a lot of memorization skills you really does and that's another thing if you don't have like a good um memory skill then or you have like this thing where you just cannot comprehend where stuff is on a menu then that's not the right job for you as well you know so you go on there and like you have to find like what it's under and so it depends on what restaurant you're working at you know i understand like if you had a bad experience at one restaurant or like any fast food place it does not mean you're gonna have the same experience at another one you know but I do know it depends on the restaurant you're working at. Like, say you work in a, uh, and I'm not saying, I I'm going to try not to say the exact type of restaurant it was. But, like, you know, um, if you go into Chinese and you know nothing about Chinese stuff, obviously you're going to have a harder time finding stuff on the menu. If you work in a Mexican restaurant and you know nothing about Mexican, you don't speak Spanish, you don't know the terms, you know, obviously you're going to have a harder time compared to like if you work in a you know American restaurant you know and you go to McDonald's or you go to um or you go to McDonald's or you go to Wendy's you know you will have an easier time finding stuff on the menu but like you know I'm sorry I'm sorry but like <laughs> Obviously, you will have, like, an easier time finding stuff, like, if you work at McDonald's or if you work at Wendy's, you will have an easier time, like, finding stuff on the menu compared to, like, it, compared to, like, you know, if you work at Chinese or you work in a Mexican restaurant, you know, obviously, you'll have a harder time because that's not your, you know, what you know, you know. So, like, that's one thing they were very mean to me about, per se, you know, is that they gave me a harder time because I could not find stuff on the menu, you know, but that's not my fault. You know, that's not my fault. You know, it was my first day and like, it is kind of my fault though. It kind of is because like, you know, and I understand like they were expecting way too much out of me, but also, you know, when you go to those type of places, you know, obviously and I, what I'm trying to say is that, like, you know, sometimes restaurants just expect too much out of people. Like, you're not going to automatically get stuff on your first day. And if they think that and that's what they expect out of you, you know, that's on them, you know. And, like, it's also kind of on me, though. Like, I'm not just putting the 100% blame on them, you know. Because they told me, like, before I even go there, I need to have the menu memorized. And, like, you know, due to, like, other conflicts with my schedule, you know, I was not able to do that, you know. To be honest, I didn't even look at the menu, but that's, like, on me as well. But also, you're not going to automatically get stuff, like, on your first day. It's, like, what I'm trying to say. So, they obviously gave me a hard time with this. And this was the first conflict that ever went down. And keep in mind, this didn't have shit to do with me. So, I got kind of aggravated because I'm not even the one that took that person's order. You know, because it wasn't me that took your order. It was the other girl, and she had been there longer than me. And, you know, even if... Th the thing is, if she was to make a mistake oh honey it's fine if I was to make a mistake you know they would obviously give me a harder time you know and it was just my first day you know and keep in mind I'm still not saying anything negative about them like I'm just I'm just saying you know so like and I wasn't even the one that took that order so the woman came up to me and like I had a really hard day with them because one like they were mean to me like they were so mean to me that it literally drove me into a panic attack you know, because they were yelling at me, you know, they called me names, etc. 
you know, and like this is where like shit started to go down. So the woman came up to me and I keep in mind, I wasn't even the one that took that lady's order. Like it was not me. It was the other girl because I couldn't even, I was struggling to find stuff on the menu and I am a perfectionist and I make no room for mistakes. You know, and I understand mistakes still do happen, you know, but I was even scared to take people's orders. So I'm not even the one that did it, you know? So why are they yelling at me for it? Like, cause they are, they automatically, you know, assumed chancy. Cause like they automatically assumed like it had something to do with me. Like just because like I'm the new girl and you know, and they were stereotyping me. So, Chansey. Cats are a handful, y'all. Come on. Come lay with mommy. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I did not hurt her, you guys. I was just trying to pick her up. But, um, what I was saying is, is that, you know, my family is being really, really fucking loud in there. And I cannot. Uh, family, right? Okay. So, like, I, that's what I was saying. Like, they automatically assumed it was me because I'm the new girl. And they didn't like the new girl. And they were already mean to me. And, like, this is what happened. They started yelling at me. They started, like, making me feel embarrassed. And there was a lot of people staring at me. So, you know, and I'm one that I have real bad panic attacks. I have seizures. And I have real bad panic attacks. But, like, w what leads up to my seizures is that whenever I start having, like, high anxiety or I'm under a lot of stress you know with my neurological condition I will have a seizure but here's the messed up part I told them from the get-go what I had I told them you know I have autism and I have dyslexia which means I'm slower than than others you know I have autism I have dyslexia you know, and like whenever in the end, I told them, you know, yeah, I'm struggling, you know, because you expect too much out of me. I think I'm doing a good job, you know, for for my first day, you know, and y'all are just being mean, you know, and I'm like, y'all, I just, I, I just don't understand like why y'all are not being as understanding, you know, so long story short, like they started yelling at me. And, like, they were causing a scene in front of everybody. And I, I couldn't breathe for, like, a second because that's what panic attacks are, you know? Like, you can't breathe. Like, you know, it feels like you're suffocating, you know? So, like, I walked outside and I don't, you know, wholeheartedly, I don't remember what happened. And, you know, they deny anything that has ever happened. But the injury was there, you know, and the injury's still there. Unfortunately, I have to have surgery to, like, repair, like, my shoulder, you know. But, like, you know, they denied anything ever happened, you know. So, like, I walked outside, you know, and I couldn't breathe. And I was, like, hyperventilating. And I don't remember what happened. I just know that I fell to the ground and I started having a seizure, you know, but here's the thing. I don't always go to the hospital whenever I have a seizure. You know, I don't. Because, but it really depends on the type of seizure that I have. You know, if it's a minor one, you know, I, I don't feel the need to go to the hospital. Because, like, you know, it's 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 in my everyday life that I have seizures, you know. And then um, if it's a, if it's a major one and I'm not breathing, then, then yeah, somebody needs to call an ambulance, you know. But this one was a major you know, it it was it was a little bit in between. It wasn't a minor one. It was it was a major one and it was a minor one at the same time, you know, because luckily I did come back around and you know, I felt fine afterwards, you know, but that's that's just me. Like, you know, my, my health issues are very um complicated, you know, but like all I know, it, it's so weird. I don't even I don't even know what happened. You know, like all I know is, like, I was in the parking lot, and I was seizing, and, like, whenever I fell, like, I don't know, like, I don't even know how it happened. Like, my shoulder, like, fully dislocated, and I, I, the sad thing is, I can't even remember, like, you know, how it happened, you know? So, it's, I can't give you an accurate, like, represent, representation on what happened, you know? I, it's just, just, like, you know, it's confusing, is all I'm trying to say. So, like, all I know is this first responder came up you know and he's like he was trying to help out to the best of his knowledge because at the same time he was not on the clock but he did tell me he was a first responder and like he was trying he's like he's like it's okay you know calm down like it's okay 
you know and like this is like something i could have technically filed on the restaurant that they did not call an ambulance they did not care like about my well-being in fact they tried to send me back to work after it happened to try to cover up the incident you know but um because they didn't want it on file you know that something like that happened in their restaurant you know so um I know the first responder was trying to help and like this is the woman you know and keep him actually I'm not gonna give a gender it wasn't a woman I'm sorry I can't I, but like the the manager walked out and I'm not gonna give a specific gender you know he slash she walked out there and she tried to send the first responder away and like he's a first responder it's his job to help people and she she he slash she looked at the man and was like um she, you know, she was talking about, you know, he saw she was talking about me and like what was said is that I just act like child. I'm just causing a scene. And when they, that was what they claimed is that, um, and, and I couldn't really hear because I was very, um, out of it, but I could still interpret what was like, what was trying to be said, you know? And all it was is like, he saw she was over there like denying anything that was, wrong saying that I acted like child I did it on purpose you know and like the injury was very obvious like you know there there was clearly like my shoulder was very obviously injured I was in a sling for the longest time you know and like I have to have surgery now and like that's not even the worst part and they're like they're like oh wait like, they were like basically trying to deny that anything was wrong they're like oh no 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 she can go back to work we don't need you and you know that, that, that you know this person just acts like child you know nothing's wrong you know they're very over dramatic you know like that they can go back to work after and they tried to cover up what was said they tried to cover up that they embarrassed me in public was yelling at me and then told me not to come back but when that when that specific boss or whatever was talking to the first responder they're like we didn't try to fire her when it when in fact she but anyways like my point is like he saw she denied everything that went on in that restaurant and told the first responder a complete different story due to the fact they did not want the restaurant to look bad so anyways this is what i did next I left, I went home, and, you know, I did not come back. Two days later, and, you know, they, they did still pay me because legally they had to pay me for my first day, but I, I actually worked more hours than what they paid me for. I'm going to move spots because my cat is, my cat should just, you know, keep distracting from me from what I'm doing, but, um... Now Chancey can't walk in front of my phone. Okay, actually, I'm making set it right here. That's better. That's better. That's so much better. But anyways, like, it's like they, try, they tried to, like, cover up what actually happened, you know. And, like, I never did come back and they kept contacting me, like, you know. And they literally fired me. Like, I can't come back because they first tried to say that I was fired. You know, that's the sad part. How are they going to fire me and then be like, we didn't fire you? When, in fact, they, you know, they literally said, like, this job's not meant for you. You need to go find something else. Like, that's firing me, you know. And I'm like, so, like, I felt not to come back. So, why they were contacting me, like, trying to say something different. Like, I don't know if they were trying to, like cover up what happened and try to make them like make, make themselves look better you know I don't know it's like they didn't want anybody to know what happened you know but I do know they were desperate when they hired me because they did not do a background check there's nothing on my background check but they didn't do a background check they basically what they asked me is that like um they didn't really ask me anything you know I went there for my interview and they said, these are the times that you work. Because they didn't even ask me any questions at my interview. You know, they literally just hired me. Like, you know, they were desperate. And I had no experience, you know. So I was like, you know, it's not my fault. Like, you know, they're the ones that hired me. And it's their fault for, like, hiring somebody with no experience in a fast food restaurant, you know. So I tried. And, you know, and I gave it a try. But, like, you know, but also 
they didn't give me an accurate job description of what I would be doing, you know, so it's like, you know, I didn't know, so like, that's why you always have to pay attention. Anyway, like, two days later, you know, my shoulder, I did find out my shoulder was fully dislocated from the incident, and like, I am a very professional worker. I know all the rules of work, I know all the rules of law, you know, and I, you know, I talked to different people, you know, about what happened. And they told me, you know, I need to, I forgot what they told me I needed to do. You know, they, it was something to do with the law or something like that. But I can't remember, like, because I talked to different people and they're like, nothing about what they did was right to you. And I was like, I know, I know that. But obviously, I'm not going to say anything negative about them because I'm not like that, you know because I'm a very composed person and like if I ever talk about experience like I'm obviously talking about it right now but for the longest time I did not talk about it to anybody the only thing that was said was that you know I had a seizure you know at work you know and I did not say anything negative or say what restaurant it was you know or, not, or I may have said what restaurant it was but like I didn't say anything negative you know so like obviously I tried to do the right thing and I contacted them two days later and like you know, I didn't argue with them. I didn't argue with them because I'm a very composed person. You know, I'm not going to argue with them. I just told them, you know, for my sake and for my injury, you know, I would like to file an incident report. The woman contacted me and said, hey, and, 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 you know, she said, she said, hey, you know, you can't file an incident report. And I said, why can I file an incident report? I mean, my shoulder's dislocated, you know, it didn't happen by itself, and she denied anything happened. She said, you can't file an incident report, you know, we did not have it on file that you had seizures. Whenever I told them from the get-go when they hired me that I had seizures and I had a disability, and it was on my file, you know, and, like, she denied knowing that I had any form of disability. She denied ever even being mean to me, and, like, they denied like you know knowing anything about it and they denied anything that had ever happened you know so I don't know and I never did anything about it you know obviously I'm not a petty person so like I'm not gonna fight them just because like they won't let me file an incident report you know but like you know I but like there's some good people that work up there in that restaurant there is this y'all my family literally drives me crazy y'all like they'd be like they tell me every little thing that they're doing and i'm like i don't even know that i don't even know that but um anyways <clears throat> you know i never did anything about the situation because obviously i'm not like a petty person you know i'm not one that's gonna like cause problems just because they won't let me file an incident report like i'm not gonna go like find an attorney like over like a stupid reason or anything like that you know because that's just stupid like that's a waste of my time you know but like you know it did make me upset a little bit you know because like you know they did in fact have it on file that I did have a disability but like I'm not gonna say anything negative because this is still a very successful business you know and there is good people that work up there anyways thank you guys so much for for um watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my name is Keita Murray and I love you guys so much